I'm sorry to interrupt you, Tara, but I've finally found some signal. I've been sitting here since I last left you. Just a few moments after that, I came around the corner to be watching the biggest crossing I have seen in my time in the Mara. I don't know how many wildebeest have crossed here, thousands of them, and they're still pushing through across the banks against the tide. Obviously, not all of them have made it. And they started up a little bit further upstream, and I just couldn't find any signal to show you it. And then luckily, one of the vehicles moved away, and we were able to nick his spot, and we've managed. So there you go, the crossing that we've been waiting for all afternoon. This is the best view that we can get of it, apparently. And obviously you can see that some of the wildebeest haven't made it. A couple of them have drowned in the course of this. This is exactly, oh, you can see how incredibly unlucky some of them have been. They've just taken slightly the wrong path and got caught in the currents. And this is where it becomes really difficult for them. All the little ones, not as tall, not as heavy, not as strong as the adults. Oh, baby. Come on, you can do it. It's not too deep. You just have to find your footing and then you'll be okay. Then you'll be okay. Come on. There you go, see? That's not so bad. Rest against the rocks. Let them hold you down. And then push for the bank. It's not far now. Not far. You go, you're so close, and unfortunately, that's as much as we can see. Oh, no, you're going the wrong way, you silly twit. Obviously, they can't get up there. It's horrible to watch. It's very hard to watch. There's no, haven't been any crocodile kills. In fact, we only saw one crocodile that had kind of drifted past the wildebeest. But watching them battle the currents, oh... And I know that for some of, uh, for, for all of you, actually, this isn't easy to watch this battle that they have to go through. And I'm sorry for those of you for whom this is really upsetting. A bumbo girl, exactly. What a horrible place to cross. Less chance of crocodiles, but at the same time, this fierce, fierce current. And whilst this might have been okay uh, about a week ago, since we've had that huge storm, the Mara River is still flowing very powerfully. And these rocks are vicious. This actually probably would have been a perfect place to cross a, couple, a week ago. They could see the rocks, they could navigate them. But now the little one's caught up in the current. Oh, why didn't you cross where the others were crossing? This crossing has just become really hard to watch. The others were doing fine. They were just that little bit upstream and they were, they were managing. But now these wildebeest have got caught up in the crush. They've taken the wrong line. Oh, you silly creatures. Oh, this has become really horrible. Watching them earlier was actually really quite enjoyable because not one of them got killed. They were all making it to the other side. Now all of a sudden one wildebeest has led them wrong and they're just not strong enough to fight the current. And they're panicking and they're getting stuck. They're finding themselves in places where they can't cross. Valiant struggle. Mm. I really wanted to show you a really nice crossing, actually. That's what, that's what we've been waiting for, but now all of a sudden this has become... Oh. It's every wildebeest for themselves. I'll spork in the road, having watched the poor calves struggling to get to the other side. You want to know if this is the first crossing for them? No, I don't think so. I think this would probably be at least their second. Oh, look, it made it back onto the other side. Oh, you clever little mite, but now you've got to start again from scratch. That's the one that was stuck that couldn't get up out of the, on the right. Well done, little one. It swam all the way back to start again. So no, this is not their first crossing. They already would have crossed the Mara River at least once, or if they've come from Tanzania on the western side, then they, could ease, they would have had to cross several rivers in that area as well. So it wouldn't be their first river crossing, I wouldn't have thought. But what a terrible place to have chosen. 
absolute chaos now. Sheer panic has set in. They were doing so well. Where that dead wildebeest is on the right, that was where they were crossing earlier. And they were forging ahead. But now it's just littered with drowned wildebeest. Oh no, now they're being swept even further downstream. Individuals clutching onto rocks. This is horrible. Richard, yes, gnus can swim. They swim quite strongly. Um, I've watched them swim across there. Look, there's a swimming one. That little calf swimming. I'm just going to go forward. I know it's a risk because of our signal, but I have to see how they're going to get out of this. It is a risk. Oh, I don't want to go any further. How are we doing, Lou? Are we okay? Good. That's as far as I think I'm going to risk it. Oh, I don't think we're even going to see how they're going to get out the other side. This is terrible. It went from the most peaceful crossing I've witnessed, where the vast majority were making it safely across, to now, I really, I'm assuming those of you for whom this is too difficult to watch, I assume you've already turned off. I know it's all part of the great circle of life and everything. It doesn't make it pleasant. No, there's no point in struggling back up there. You can't get out there. I think this is getting a bit much, everyone. I think we're probably going to leave the sighting now and let the wildebeest make their way across in peace. Let's go something across to something much more cheerful in Juma, little Tumba.